re put out a list about the quarterback that he would like to build a franchise around. And he had Lamar Jackson at number one. Is Lamar the quarterback you would want to start your team around? Listen, I've known Lamar since he throws a pretty ball, man. Uh -huh. He does hey, throw a pretty ball. Hey, man. He does. Hey. <laughs> I, I, he ain't my quarterback. I don't know. He, I think he do, he do okay. Nicole Hardman um, with the bling. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for bringing, you know, the sunshine. Bringing into... the AC up in this thing because it's hot as hell outside. <laughs> he didn't, I, I don't know if you saw him. He rode in on his scooter. I see. I, it, I, it was, it's a little extra, but we, that's why we love him. Um, look, we know the loss of, of Tyreek Hill was, was a surprise, but your head coach, your quarterback, keeps talking about how this offense is going to be fine. From your perspective, why is that going to be the case? I mean, for one. Fresh hour first take coming your way. Georgia's Kirby Smart just got paid. But will the dogs repeat? The host of College Game Day, Reese Davis, joins the show. Plus, speaking of getting paid, Kyler Murray signed a massive extension. But can he lead the Cardinals to a Super Bowl? And Madden Ratings Reveal Week continues with the quarterbacks. Who is the better QB right now, Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers? We tackle that question and more. Quarterback, but he's getting paid top two quarterback money, so we'll see. Well, Della Dover got paid, and, you know, he was never good for Cleveland. You know, he got, he got paid that money. They just had to give it out him all the players that really help them win a chip. Don't disrespect <laughs> Matthew Della Vadova. Not on my watch. Um, so much this more to come. This man went Della Vadova on I know, us. he really did. I mean, he's just, it's a Friday for him. You know he got 40 milli, you know what I'm saying? He scooted in here. He's just, he's throwing all types of stuff out here. Um, like I said, coming up. We are counting down the days to the start of the college football season and are very pleased to be joined by the host of College Game Day, one of the very best in the business, Reese Davis. Reese Heisman Trophy winner, RG3, also with us to talk a little college football as the countdown to the season is officially underway. So great to have you, Reese. And, you know, let's start with the defending champs. The Georgia Bulldogs will have their head coach, Kirby Smart, for a very long time. He signed a 10-year, $112.5 million contract extension. So, Reese, what chance do you give the Bulldogs to repeat this season? I think it's better than people think, but the first thing I would say is that when oh, that RG3 six and one half dozen of another has USC as his sleeper team, but Reese, <laughs> who is your sleeper team right now um, outside of you know Ohio he, he, State and all the big names that we always talk about? He's got the wrong team in the in the right conference. The sleeper team for the college football playoff is the reigning Pac-12 champion Utah Utes. Uh, that is a program that's established. Ooh. They're returning their funding traveler at mm -hmm. USC now. What's going on, Archie? <laughs> I mean, Mario Cristobal, I don't know if you Hi, saw man. this, uh, Reese. Mario Cristobal was trying to recruit RG3. I think, I think RG3 is, a, is trying to commit to USC as well. Hey, so I, a lot's going on. Hey, he, he, he could, he could still believe. do it. I can, gar Reese, I can guarantee you, you Robert could go out there and hey, still man, do it. He, was he can he can. As we're speaking of Baylor, I do want to get this one last question in because um, I want to, you know, Reese, obviously you've traveled all over the country to some of the best college towns that this country has. But what do you feel like is the best or, well, let me put it this way, your favorite atmosphere in, in college football? This is the OG, so he's been to all these different places. But I can't, I can't take my alma mater out, man. I've only been doing TV for like a year, so I haven't been to Penn State. I haven't been to the big house. But you know where I have been? I have been to Waco, Texas, the Baylor Bears, the Baylor Lions. So are, are, are these two the top two quarterbacks in the league right now? 